Welcome to the In General Podcast, episode 82. My name's Jack, and I'm joined with Assis and Ryan. How are you guys doing? Hello. 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 We brought Ryan out of retirement for this episode, people. Be happy. Be pumped. Ryan's back. It's, <clears throat> it's pretty crazy to be back. I never thought I'd be back, but I'm back. I, yeah, to be fair, I You're thought back, that maybe. train had... Um, what's the cliche phrase? <laughs> Left the station. That's what I... Yeah, thought. I mean, it's not, like, <laughs> it's not like I was like, hey, I'm done. I just thought, you know, like, hey, Jurassic Outpost is in good hands. You know, I'm doing the art thing and, uh, you know, kids and all that, too. Well, one kid, but you know, babies <laughs> will do that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but no, it's good to be back. It's, it's guys... good. I think it's been, oh, it's been well over a year, potentially two years since we've been on a podcast together. Yeah. That's scary. Um, yeah, that's what I was telling my wife. I'm like, I think it's been a while. I think it's been a minute. Yeah. At least two years. It's been at least two minutes. We can say definitely two minutes. Yeah, hundred percent two minutes. I'm probably eighty percent that it's been two years. But um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. And I think I just have to take this opportunity. Um, thanks to our sponsors, Jurassic Outpost want us to mention that if you head to the Jurassic Outpost store, we're selling masks, mugs, and all the other crap. And if you go to Zavi, <laughs> Zavi.co.uk or .com, and I'm pretty sure they ship worldwide, and you use Outpost twenty as your discount code. You get 20% off the Jurassic Park, any Jurassic Park item. Uh, and they've got the Festival Collection, the Primal Collection, which are actually pretty fucking cool. Um, so head there uh, and then head on back to the Jurassic Outpost store and buy yourself Kirby merch. Which leads us into what we're going to talk about this episode. Um, Jurassic Park 3. Oh, Best movie yeah. ever made. Um, Arguably. And it came out, Universal did the... Cl- <laughs> I can't believe they did this again. happy 19th anniversary Jurassic Park 3 two days before the anniversary Um, (laughs) quick Wikipedia search I love it yeah quick Google to get the result Um, it's just just the the funny thing about it is that it's like the the studio that made the movie um, don't know the actual release date I I just love that it's it's (laughs) pure you know (laughs) It's so perfect. It's like your like drunk uncle like fucking coming to your birthday party like <laughs> happy fourteenth. It's like uncle, I'm thirty five now. Yeah, I'm thirty five now. They're like what? Who? <laughs> um, it's it's brilliant. But uh, it, it was actually on the eighteenth. Uh, it was the eighteenth, July eighteenth, eighteen or nineteen. Yeah, something like that. Two thousand. We didn't even know it That's ourselves. The US release Fuck. day, anyhow. Um, mm-hmm. How old were you guys when Dress Park Three came out? High school. Oh, great question. Uh, I think it was my senior because dude I made my friends go with me I was like I knew that they didn't really care about Jurassic Park that much but I was um, I was working at the movie theater at the time so yeah this was my scene uh, mm, between junior and senior year yes sorry okay anyway um, <laughs> and we got to go to um, like an early morning like projectional showing so like basically when they're testing the film um, and so like limited staff, only staff get to go and it's just like, a, you know, limited theater. So oh, wow. you can bring family and friends with you during those times. So it's just, it's kind of nice. You, you get like your own little private screening. And so we watched it and, um, I remember feeling the excitement drain <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> as, You're lying. as, as I, as I was just what, yeah, my appreciation for it now has you guys, you know, you know, Aziz, it's grown so, so much. And arguably there are just some parts about Jurassic Park 3 that are just the best out of the entire franchise. We can get to that. Hell but, yeah, dog. But like, uh, there were just the, the, I don't know, there was like a Spielberg element that was pulled out of, out of it. Like, a, like a, you know, a tone and editing, like everything about it was just so, and like, I, I immediately like hated William H. I, William H. Macy and like Tara Leone and even uh, Mr. Noodle, um, what's his face? <laughs> what? Uh, I forgot his name. Um, um, you know, the fake uh, contractor guy who basically, with the mustache, who's on Sesame Udesky. Street. From, yeah. yeah. The other guy. Udesky. Oh, yeah, it's Udesky. Anyway, k- killed by the raptor. Yeah. Didn't like. Anyway, there were just so many things. Anyway, I could go on about my initial feelings about it, but... Uh, yeah, uh, it, I just remember feeling that, like my soul had kind of left me when we walked out of the theater, and I felt like my friends had kind of questioned me after that, like, what kind of <laughs> movies do you like? Because they thought the same. They're like, what was that? 
So it was. Yeah. I mean, it but... makes sense. I, I, when I was eight, and I, I obviously my entire childhood watched Jurassic Park and The Lost World and absolutely adored them. And I think being eight and watching Jurassic Park three, I loved it in the theater. I remember going to see it mm-hmm. so many times. Uh, again and again dragging different family members my cousins like come on come on just trust part and like i used to remember lo- like discussing with my cousin <laughs> the uh, the raptors were like these aren't these aren't the raptors from the previous movies they, they've got they've got <laughs> things on their head like it was uh, i used to love it man God, I, they I look really, so dope i really love that film and yeah the raptors themselves are pretty pretty goddamn sweet i mean it's, yeah, i was I mean, seven so i'm in the same boat same boat as you jack love the shit out of the movie still do yeah it's like stockholm syndrome i think i've watched it too much i just love it now. wait how old were you when it came out pretty much the same age right yep seven man we're the we're the jp3 kids you guys are yeah, only that are. far apart in age hmm? what <laughs> maybe it's just a maturity thing <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, Jack's mature. I'm like this fucking three year old child still. I love it. Oh no, it's the other way around. I was thinking the other way around too. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, when you said eight years old, that's how old I was when Jurassic Park came out. So, and that was only like eight ye- or seven, eight years before. And did you see Jurassic in theaters? Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. Oh god, that's why my love for it is just like. Like being able, I think at that, that was like the perfect age to just see a movie like that, especially at the time, because, you know, it hadn't been exposed to anything else that had. So just, I mean, I literally was believing what I saw on film. My mind was fucking blown. Yeah, I mean. God, you're so old. I've seen so. Jurassic and Theaters, but I couldn't <laughs> imagine being eight years old and seeing that. Because JP3 is great, but seeing Jurassic Park at 8, I uh, just, what a dream. That'd be too much. I, I, I can't even imagine going back and, like, I'd be obsessed with the movie back then. Like, yeah. I know that there's, that a, sense. there's a handful of people in the community, like, um, I think Steven was pretty close. Like, I know Brad, he was my, you know, there's um, there's a handful. Of, Chris, I think, was, Chris is not my age, but he's, I he's think, close to it. I think from discussing this with chris before it was either the lost world or jurassic park 3 that he saw in theaters but i'm pretty sure he said when he saw the lost world uh he he was too young to actually really remember seeing it jp3 was like the first one for him but i think for me like growing up with those two movies but living in a place that doesn't have you know there wasn't really like there wasn't really merchandise or anything here when jurassic park 3 came out and i was eight years old like walking around shops and picking up all the toys and it was just this oh, i was yeah. surrounded by jurassic and that was like i was at the perfect age um it, it was just everything about it and even the toy line man it's not as good as lost Dad, world, but yeah god man i was like nostalgia like hits hard when i do yeah absolutely <laughs> so what did you guys think of the toy line toys R Us, man it's beautiful good times yeah do you so you like so you guys liked it you thought the toy line was pretty co- cool well, as a kid, I wanted all of them, man. All of them. I got that like that bigger Spinosaur, the rubber one. I was like, yeah, this is this is my shit, man. I loved it. Yeah, to See, be fair, I don't get... rest in peace. Some of them were good. The rubber dinosaurs looked good. I never had those though. I only had the action figures and a couple of the dinosaurs, and they they yeah. were okay. I think it was just disappointing that they weren't more rubbery, like the Kenner ones. They were just yeah. sort of like plastic posed in like a posed position. mm Hmm. That was good enough for me as a kid. I don't have, like, touchstone for, like, the Kenner toys. Cause I don't think I had... I think I had some of the Lost World ones, but, like, I was too young to, like, know the difference. I was like, oh, Jurassic Park? Cool, I'll take it, man. If it's not Jurassic, it's not authentic, or whatever that stupid line was. It's extinct, buddy. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so bad with these things. But, yeah, huge, huge memories with my dad just walking around. Toys R Us, looking at all the little things, pressing the buttons and like the wounds and stuff. Was that was it. What was it? What did time. they call it? It was like Dino Damage. React Attack. React Attack. Oh, React Attack, <laughs> dog. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. They were um, cool. The only, I felt like the only toy out of that line that I liked, because honestly, again, not, <laughs> you could kind of say like along with the movies, uh, I felt like the toy line just kind of declined. But I did think that Jurassic, or sorry, The Lost World definitely had the most badass and diverse um, 100% toy line but I was so disappointed in the Spinosaurus and there was the the stalking um, the stalking Velociraptor I don't know if you guys yeah. remember that but it was like a little bit bigger 
and I felt like that one not only just like looked cool, but was just like quality toy. Was and this JP3? Do rest... you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find. Uh... I think I know the one you're talking about. It was like a larger raptor, male raptor with the frills, but it was yeah, 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 yeah. It was like rubber, Chris... and you could pose it. Chris has talked about it a lot in terms of the reference for um, some of the concept, like for the red raptors. Um, yeah. For Jurassic, I believe, or Jurassic World. Here's a here is a picture of it. Um, oh, it's on Amazon. But, Hang on. Oh yeah, you can purchase <laughs> that shit. Currently unavailable. Well, that's just sad. Um, yeah, I see. I never had this one. Um, I would have had it. That's the thing where I. Oh, I, sh- I had that. Oh, oh, and the pterodactyl. The pterodactyl. I also still have. I'm gonna go to right jptoys.com to look through the line. Toy database. Jurassic Park three. I used to do this a lot as a kid. Humans, dinosaurs, vehicles, posable dinosaurs. That's it. They had Raptor, Spino, Stalking Raptor, and Remote Control Spino. Yeah, see, I never had any of these. Where I grew up, it was just the main sort of basic action figures, the React Attack dinosaurs, the humans. React Attack. Uh, and that was it. Uh, we never had the big rubber dinosaurs. Or I was like, Jesus, I would have bought them because I loved the Spino as a kid. Yeah. See, and Stalking that's- Raptor was cool. There's, I mean, there's so much hype around the spine, like because the spino has come back and uh, all the hype that was been that's been around it for the past year, and I've kind of been like, because uh, it still reminds me <laughs> of the old one, which I guess is the point. And you I just, killed my T Rex. I just want something that looks a little bit more um, film authentic, but you know, I get it, I get it. I, I have the Papo one that is the Papo one's off. cool. I'd like somebody to paint like it for me to be the jp3 colors i know a guy his name is jaroslav oh yeah jaroslav dude he, smash that and he makes some smashing good <laughs> dude his godzilla right now i don't know if you've seen it oh yeah i do it's incredible what the hell how is that guy's got skill yeah man i kind of just want to turn to him to make me like an epic scene you know like Muldoon in the in the brush Wow. Like, dude, just sculpt this for me. I know you can do it. <laughs> here's a thousand dollars. I, I, I didn't know. drop a thousand yet. Uh, here's a grand, just do it for me, and just I'll take it. Yeah. Make I don't me know. happy. Yeah, so I don't know if that's too little. That's probably too little, but because it'd be like one of a kind, you know? It'd be yours only. Yeah. None of that Chronicle stuff. We're talking about the, the, the authentic Yaroslav editions. By fans, when, for fans. When is the JP3 <laughs> the the stuff going to come? from chronicle or chronicle from have done a couple of jp3 they've got the um the resonating chamber the resonating chamber of a velocity oh that's right that's right uh, which is awesome but i don't want it i want the logo on its own why because look at the logo on it man have you seen i would eh. dude i would love the duffel bag with eggs in it or the camera bag with eggs in it oh that would be cool it's a great movie man so Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus what did you think of it Ryan if you were you know okay the movie's not so great what do you actually think of the Spino oh epic you I mean, still dude, like Stan, it now <clears throat> Stan Winston obviously was well, was thankfully still involved at that time and you know like dude the animatronics and like the design of the dinosaurs do not disappoint except for and may I be clear everyone the Brachiosaurus oh, yeah. in Jurassic Park 3 looks like Trash. Yeah. Sorry. How dare you? <laughs> Sorry to to the people who designed it. If you're listening, uh, <laughs> you should have done your homework. I'm sorry. Look, it just didn't look. It, it and it wasn't so much the design. It's just the coloring looks so, like so. They're I don't know. I just thought it looked bad. Sorry. I, I was like never. Trash. Yeah, I never understood how that kind of happened. It just was. I don't so... understand what's wrong with it. There's it's there's like the, like the font talk. It's, well, it's 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 arguable that the CG itself looks not that great, but also it's just the coloring and everything. Like it's like this weird kind of green and Christmassy color. Like it should have just been the same as on New. I mean, I I get like different colors, but it's just the there was such an element that they did within Jurassic Park and the Lost World with sh- shadowing gradients on the CG that made it look so goddamn real and some and still holds true to this day it's literally some of the light like chris and i chris goes crazy about this like the lighting and the shadow of some of that cg is literally what makes it 
and it was just like this flat palette of Brachiosaurus crap, and it didn't look good. Sorry, but back to the Spinosaurus. <laughs> the Spinosaurus, <laughs> I thought, uh, dude, when, in the trailers, like everything about it, I thought looked epic. And like when I saw the draft, oh, I'm gonna go on this tangent because there's so many things about Jurassic Park three that are epic. But like when they teased it in the first little trailer, yeah. um. Like, like this is how you play God, and then like you show they showed like the Raptors kind of like quickly going through the field, and like it's like this kind of quick. Do you guys remember that quick trailer? I oh, do, yeah, man. of course. I do. Yeah. And uh, dude, I I there was no way to record it, so I had a video camera at the time, and I caught it on commercial, recorded it on my video camera, and watched that over and over and over. And over. <laughs> this is how you play God. Um, this is how you play God. Anyway, and the Spinosaurus, I thought, just was epic. And that was such a good highlight throughout the film. And there was only one part in the entire movie where actually I thought it looked really, really bad. And it was, again, like the lighting, shadowing and stuff. And it's right when they're running from it originally. And it gets caught in that tree and just roars at it and goes, Rah! and you get this, like, front That's face, a face yeah, shot. It's a little iffy and that stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, a it's, a weird, it's a weird angle, and it looks bad. And I caught it. I just thought it looked weird. But, dude, sure. such an epic creature. And it's crazy how different the design is compared to uh you know what paleontology is has found now and that was literally going off of some of the science that we knew at the time that was only 19 years ago yeah which is ridiculous to think i mean um but i i prefer how the spino looks in jurassic 3 i love it it's it's like i, I love the mm-hmm. whole sequence i love when it kills the rex uh, obviously that's tough but uh and probably should have happened later in the movie it would have been cool if they kind of had that scuffle and then Maybe the T-Rex bolted or something in the Spino, you know, and then it was like just a follow-up kept... towards the end. It was just so quick. It was yeah. like the movie wanted you to be, like, to smash. Uh, like a shock factor. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And it worked in that sense. Uh, I, I really like the Spino, though. I think it's great dinosaur. I think it had some great sequences, and I like the way it was, it, it was pretty much tracking them. Uh, right. And, like, even down the river, and then the fact that it was underwater and things like that. Um, and that whole sequence in the river and yeah you you mentioned stan winston before i think a part of why i love the spinosaurus so much is that stan was so proud of it and like that was his that was the biggest one he's ever made and mm-hmm. uh and he was so like excited when it worked on set and i think it's just it must have just been incredible to be around people like that and to be part of uh the you know the franchise with all these different elements going into it. it's not just VFX it's these incredible creatures that uh, an icon Hollywood icon is uh, in charge of it, it just must have been god it would have been amazing just to be on set to just witness that I mean just you know being behind the scenes of what we saw in Philly of uh, the Jurassic World set you know um Dude, just to see like the actual animatronics and like to see the size of them, like and just compared to the one that's like at Universal and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so what happened to the animatronic? Did they destroy the Spino? Or is that the same one that's sitting in like the the back lot or whatever? Uh, I don't. Be- that's not the ag- actual. Oh, it's not. That's if they just do they just like destroy them? Like, what do they do with the animatronics? I think like, the, they sell them off or whatever. I think the silicon or the rubber that they were made of. Uh, disintegrates quite badly over time so I think they kind of yeah. I think they were shifted around moved around I think there's people that have or companies that have casts of them but I'm not sure if uh, gotcha. I think the originals are probably long gone mm-hmm. that's sad which is sad and it, you just know that if they if they bring the Spino back now even if they make an animatronic or a puppet it's gonna look weird it's, it's not gonna, gonna look same. weird man it, she's never gonna be the same one of a kind but it was a great it's movie. weird, like it's it's it's. I feel like it's so crazy that like Hollywood in some ways can't replicate that. I mean, they can. It's just like, why is it so hard in some ways? I agree. Should... <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Because the puppet work in those movies, the animatronic work, is still to this day so effective. It looks so real. It's great. They have something to interact with, like the scene in Lost World where they're holding the baby Rex and they bring it in. Sure, it's an animatronic, but it's so. You, you couldn't guess I mean it looks real they're interacting with it it's moving mm-hmm. on its own it's independent the tail's whipping mm-hmm. it just feels right um, it's like magic it's uh, movie magic camera tricks for um, sure <laughs> so I have this article up here 
which I, I mean, you've heard these rumors before, but it's IGN and it's dated 22nd of June, the year 2000, right? Uh, it's an around. exclusive. Jeff Goldblum contacted for Jurassic Park 3. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> so Those teasers. We all know about Jurassic Park 3's weird history and, and you know, chucking out scripts, but I remember rumors about Jeff Goldblum being in it and i remember that from you know dan's jp3 page page there was a lot of that um but this article i i don't remember reading this specific one apparently he'd been approached uh, and they're getting this from a reliable source uh he's been approached to return and they haven't made the decision but apparently jurassic park 3 was going to be a prequel huh it was going to be i never heard that before no neither have i well what? It was going to be pre the Lost World. They're saying here, so it would be it would be between the first two movies. Um, what, where would Goldblum even play into that, though? In Hawaii, according to inside sources, the word that filming will take place in Kauai and the shoot is scheduled for approximately three weeks. JP3 location scouts are currently in the middle of their third technical scout. The first advanced scouting took place in March on Oahu and Kauai. Second outing was last month. No, yeah, yeah. Team arrived in Hawaii. Uh, uh, our sources tell us that the locations that will be used are all new except for one uh, and scouting also t- they apparently they also scouted the redwoods in California but they've decided against using those sites which I mean they did choose not to in the end um, and the what rumors were that the story was going to be called either something like extinction embryo or end of chaos oh, right that's right uh, I remember. Ex- Is that why we saw about the embryo poster, right? With the, I remember the embryo. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, we saw there are posters that exist with the word extinction and breakout on it. I've never heard of. I've never seen a poster that said embryo or end of chaos, but it's interesting because um, I kind of I remember hearing about Jeff Goldblum was supposed to be. I mean, there was that report. Do you remember on IMDb? Jeff Goldblum was originally supposed to be in Dress Part Three, but he broke his leg, so they wrote him out that's obviously not true I vaguely remember that (laughs) but um, it I mean it would be interesting to think what would a prequel be what would be what's the story after Jurassic Park but pre The Lost World that would also have but that would also have Jeff Goldblum in it him trying to expose him probably wouldn't have been a major role I wouldn't think just just watching him in The Lost World when he meets with Hammond it's kind of like you really get the impression this is the first time he's like done anything yeah. Jurassic related uh, it, yeah I just can't think of it I can't think of anything that would have worked with him but even a prequel what would that have been forgetting Jeff Goldblum you would have to think like uh, Site B right before like the destruction and like abandoning it right you would have to think maybe the hurricane yeah I still want to see that a lot I, I really mean, want I, to see a functioning Site B because like it, I mean and this might this will be interesting to see in Jurassic Park, or sorry, Jurassic World 3, Jurassic Park 6. But, you know, there was always still, like, in my head at least, the revolving question about Biasin and the can and what happened. And, you know, even though it was, like, submerged under mud and, you know, for, supposed to be forgotten about, I still thought, like, there was something ominous about that, that, like, somebody could come back for it if they wanted to. I mean, Spielberg did say in one of the documentaries when the Blu-ray came out that he put that shot in so like you can come and like set it up for a sequel. Like he, he yeah. wanted to use it, I'm sure. Right, and I mean, I guess that was obviously explored in the um, in the game in the uh, tick uh, TikTok. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. TikTok game. What is it? Uh, Telltale, Telltale, Telltale. Tell-tale. Yeah. I mean, the game is about as bad as TikTok, so. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> anyway. one of the worst games ever made, straight up. Yeah, it's but that was my that was always my like you know, at least version of the of what was going to happen after Jurassic Park so that would have been my only presumptive prequel in between you guys think they're going to go back and show like a like them tracking it or whatever on like 93 Nublar in JW3 like tra- like tra- like the can having some sort of tracking beacon yeah like they can probably you know recon them say like at the bottom of the can there's like a chip or some shit implanted in it or whatever that would be cool like oh you didn't know and it's like beep Beep. Under the yeah, exactly under yeah. the mud, some well, a Dilophosaurus is in there like sniffing over it, like what is it? <laughs> Runs away. Yeah, they've they've made a nest just inside Nedry's jeep. It's just oh, a big yeah. Dilo nest. 
Um, mm-hmm. The the uh, John Sell script that opens with the first twenty pages. Nick Harris, I think, goes back to New Blood to steal the canister. Yeah, and this was yeah. two thousand four. Yep. They wrote this, so they were mm-hmm. really trying to use the canister in some way. It was definitely a plot point at some point in time because it makes sense. Um, it is a shame we never got to see it. Really, I mean, I still, I think, because of having Jurassic Yet. Park three and then spending the next. 10, 12, 14 years wanting Dress Part 4 and hearing about it. I, I still, uh, you know, I kind of wish it would have been, it'd be cool to see an alternate timeline where they'd actually just made Jurassic Park 4 in 2005 or something like that. And where we'd be now and if it had, <laughs> if it would have been any good. Um, you know, like... Well, technically, we still did get to Jurassic Park 4. Like, those elements still made it into the movies in uh, JW and JW2. Like, there's still elements of that. Like, the guy training the raptors, that we saw that. Yeah. Uh, big castle they, thing, we kind of saw that. They've taken that, for sure, from the cells, like, ideas. I just meant, like... like so, so, they were, Somebody was having this discussion yesterday. They were saying... Um, I think it was Bryson Ata. He was saying, Jurassic World is... Like, obviously it's not, but it's that's the Jurassic Park. That's the new park one of this trilogy fallen kingdom is like the lost world and it's only now that we're truly getting two dinosaurs off the mainland but uh, onto the mainland but uh, if Jurassic Park 4 had come out you know in the early 2000 um, mid 2000 like you know 2005 or whenever yeah um, you could have they could have just the dinosaurs could have been poached then and then the dinosaurs could be on the mainland there could be another so it, there wasn't necessarily a need for a new park and I remember when we when the uh, was it Joe Blow first leaked that Jurassic World was oh yeah a new I park. was so like gutted I, was I don't pissed. want a new yeah, park I, I, yeah. I was like no I, that's the complete opposite of what A I thought we were going to get and B like what I wanted <laughs> um, so yeah it would be cool to see an alternate timeline where a Jurassic Park 4 had been made and it was cool Jurassic Park 4 you know something um, kind of just really curious how that would have been man that Jurassic Park 4 would have killed the franchise the sales one definitely would have yeah that would have absolutely ended it but then the franchise kind of died anyway after yeah that. I don't know what happened there eh? like why it just went away well I mean Jurassic Park 3 happened no offense well it was still hey. successful though <laughs> <laughs> hey we're talking about Jurassic Park 3 <laughs> but I but think I mean, offense everything negative about Jurassic but it did Park I mean I think critically it did yes um, yeah and it didn't yeah, make it, as much it, money as well. Yeah, and so like you know, the studio was like, "Well, I think we're going to take a break for a while because of that and for that reason." I think yeah. there were a lot of we. I think there were a lot of ambitious ideas around that time. Weren't there even more animation? Well, Kathleen, supposedly planned. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy said in two thousand and one, pretty much like a month. I, th- I think it was this this close, a month after it came out that. Um, they've come up with an idea that's better and they wish they'd done it for JP3 and I think Spielberg said something like that too but the the, the, the issue mm, is that mm-hmm. they it's balancing the science and the adventure and then there was like an interview with Stan Winston in 2003 and he was like we're still waiting on a script they you know they they're trying to balance this and that I just want to make animatronics but um, I think they struggled because of the critical you know reviews of Jurassic Park 3 they know they needed to really kind of make a good one I think they battled with it for a while they couldn't come up with an idea sales happened and then they were like whoa that's too that might be too crazy and then 2008 obviously Michael Crichton passed away Stan Winston passed away and it just I think it completely dropped off the radar just insensitivity really like Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah we ended up getting Jurassic World (laughs) I've really but, come around on Jurassic World. I've come around on it. I like it for what it is. I mean, so, I, I didn't thing. say anything negative. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's not what you said, Jack. Um, it's how you said it. It's how you said it. Uh, do you think the Spinosaurus could return? It re- no. Do you know what? It really depends what they do with Isla Sauna because they have yet to answer it. Or even reference. I mean, we know what they did, though. There's no dinosaurs left on Sorna, right? Apparently. I am. I just don't buy it. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I Jack reject that. Yeah. to believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I kind of, I prefer the belief that New Blood didn't get nuked because we never heard that it got nuked. Uh, it didn't get destroyed. The assets were com- were left entirely. I, I prefer that belief. I like thinking that New Blood had dinosaurs on it until 
freaking Jurassic World came in and you know Mizrani came in and started taking over I don't like the idea that New Blood would have been empty because it's just cooler think to think that those been, yeah. dinosaurs were like flourished after the people left I mean they did kind of didn't they like the old Brachiosaur was still there like it, that didn't go anywhere really right wasn't it confirmed though that, like the Spinosaurus skeleton in Jurassic World was the JP3 skeleton or Spino oh I hope not was that ever a confirmed thing? I remember hearing that. I think it was just supposed to be an honorable... Oh, no. Not. Actually, I don't know, man. I don't know the lore of Jurassic World too much. They better I mean, not have done that to my, my main my main, my main main dino. Your JP. main boy. Don't do that. Because she... I mean, she wouldn't be she wouldn't be that old, or he? He? She? She? I have no idea. Yeah, we don't um, actually know. Somebody will know. Man, we are so ill-prepared. But yeah. it's a bit like these Did are the questions actually that I don't. Gender? Yeah, I was like, these are questions that maybe I've never asked. I'm like, maybe. what is the spine? It's 2020, man. Don't assume genders. It's true. Yeah, well, I, I mean, and with the science, they they are you know asexual, so they can turn exactly from right. male to female in a single sex environment. <laughs> I've heard that quote before. Where's that from? I don't know. Star Wars, <laughs> bro. Best I'm, movie of all time. I'm looking at this Prime One. I forgot about Prime One, man. What's Prime One? Oh, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know them. Um, they're just really. No, cool. that's, that's exactly what I'm asking. What is that? <laughs> uh, nothing. It's, it's just something me and Ryan are talking about. Um, oh, cool, cool. They um, uh, Prime One Studio. They're doing a Spinosaurus, right, Ryan? You, you linked that. Yep. Yep. Looks good from what I can see. They've done a bunch I mean, of that... cool stuff. Yeah, that's... and I'm kind of glad that they came on the scene. I mean. I, I think competition is good, if you will. Um, but I also just think having a, di- a diverse range of talent across, you know, people who just want to make this kind of stuff for fans is like the more the merrier. Agree. And it looks awesome. Um, the stuff I'm, is too expensive, honestly. How much is make it? Make it cheaper. Make like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, and I'll buy it. How much? It's got to be in the hundreds, right? Like several hundred. So yeah. Why is their website not showing me? I I do feel Prime is slightly cheaper than Chronicle, but I honestly uh, like their stuff more. Um, but I haven't seen any of their stuff, you know, in terms of quality, like up close. Yeah, Chronicles like could some be of these examples. Yeah, exactly. Like it could last fifty hundred years for in Prime. I don't know. It'll fall <laughs> apart on you. It is expensive. Some of that stuff, eh? Uh, but it looks damn good. I mean, it looks like you. I mean, it looks movie authentic, like film authentic, yeah. and that's. I mean, could you imagine if toys were made like that? I'd, I'd pay sixty bucks. Whoa, twelve hundred dollars <laughs> for the Spino. That's okay, cool. well, that's hefty. I mean, I would pay that for Jurassic Park three, but come on, this the size is what one to thirteen, one thirteenth. Oh shit! It comes. I forgot about this. Yeah, it comes with the little plane, bro. The broken up plane. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Ah oh, man, what looks good. Done, I mean, remember we we've been asking for this type of stuff for for years. Yeah, we, and years, and we finally today, got it. Yeah. And now we're like, no, it's too expensive. It's so too like expensive it. for us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's classic. That's like any fandom, right? We really want this. They give it to him. It's like mm, not like that though. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is a glorious piece, I love. God, this. it looks good. I mean, and just yeah, the design. I mean, I feel like this is like a true, like this is a, this is like, they did their homework in terms of Winston's and did McCurry or not McCurry. Uh, uh, oh my God. Why am I forgetting his name? Who drew, <laughs> who drew all the dinosaurs? Uh, is it Crash? For yeah, JP3, Crash. you mean? It was Crash McCurry for Jurassic Park and Lost World, I think, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So did Crash do JP3? That is a question we should be able to answer without having God, to we're type it into Google. Yeah, and yep. uh, and Jurassic Park 3. Okay. Yay. Yeah. It there just go. looks so good. I mean, the design is so true, I feel like, to the other, you know, the previous and the, and the JP. I don't know. There's a, there's a JP look. There's like a, there's a, there's a muscularness. There's a design to them. There's a way that they look she's heavy she yeah she she's got weight Her style yeah yeah mm-hmm. and that was one thing okay so in the making of jurassic park 3 i remember that being because i anytime they made that for any of the films i was those i sometimes think are sometimes cooler than the actual films because you get just 
to learn so much about them. But I remember they did such a heavy emphasis on muscle definition and weight. And in particular with, with, with the fight, um, there's like a, a, a jiggle, yeah. if you will, to um, the way that the muscle moves that they weren't able to do before. And you can clearly see it, especially in like the way that Brachiosaurus moves in the first scene in Jurassic Park. It's just like this, like the way that like <laughs> it's heavy lines kind of bend and morph because there's like no they, they weren't able to move the muscle they so really they really went to town on that fight it's incredible it's oh, good the the, the do you know what the, fight yeah, the series. it is the fight the uh spinosaurus versus t-rex the best the best dinosaur battle in the series it's just it's for not sure flashy it's just it's so it's just aggressive and visceral it's real it's, it's like over primal. fairly quick yeah, yeah yeah it's just two beasts behemoths just destroying each other very quickly I love Grant's like reaction to just ah! yeah when he's <laughs> yeah. give it to me. Uh, right. uh, I'm uh, now having a bad time. I really want to buy this Spinosaurus. It's gorgeous. <laughs> like a bad time. I want to buy it. It's it gorgeous. Twelve hundred dollars, man. Is that some? Is that Canadian? Please be Canadian. That exchange might be better. <laughs> oh, you wish, dude. Oh, that's tough. Estimated arrival is September 2021, so I might. Uh, so no one has one currently. Payment plans. Bonus. Yeah, payment oh. plans. You pay. The first deposit is $129, and on shipment, you pay $1,100. Oh, do you know what? In a year, in a year's time, you would pay. I think I'm gonna. Why wow, you're actually tempted? Eh? I, I think the, I'm gonna make a deposit on this bad boy. <laughs> oh boy, there we go. I'm this gonna put down is... my hundred twenty nine dollars ninety cents for my JP three Spinosaurus bonus edition. Oh hell yeah! This thing is nineteen inches tall. By Jeez. oh shit! <laughs> by Fuck. are we gonna put that? I have no idea. By thirty one inches long. That's yeah, statue size twenty inches tall. Holy that shit. is that's beefy. Okay, all right. That's why it's twelve hundred dollars. But it comes it, with a resonating I mean... chamber. <laughs> as the all right, I'm sold to now. That's, buy it. The bonus. that's it. I'm in. Does it really? Yeah, yeah. On their website, oh, now, no you way. Buy the bonus. Man, I love the display it's on too. Oh, it looks good. The pose and everything. People are like, I want to see it. It's um, yeah. just Google the future um, of the awesome. force awesome statue <laughs> type awesome, in statue. awesome statue in you'll google you'll see what we're talking about <laughs> the first hit it's 1 15th scale yeah it's big that's that's oh yeah bonus shit. version would bonus i wonder version. if Dude, didn't chronicle do like a 1 5th t-rex oh yes yeah they did it how much would that thing cost like several thousand it have to be <laughs> <laughs> 1 5th holy shit but chris would know this but is um if this is one fifteenth scale, it's twenty inches tall. Would the JP three action figures from Hasbro would they fit in scale to this? Oh, for humans? sure. But I mean, would that be the not right? like not maybe like true to scale? But I mean, like it'd be pretty close. I wonder with the Hasbro figure for sure. Yeah, because yeah. you could have them. You could you can you could put them in the plane. <laughs> that's could. like I mean that's almost. <laughs> do you guys remember the bull T Rex from the Lost World? I mean, Jack. Yeah. yeah. So that thing was gargantuan, right? I mean that. How tall is that? I think it's pretty. I think uh, I'd say it's pretty close. I mean, this is probably pretty close to the Colossus or whatever uh, T Rex toy, Jurassic World. I'm in. I think I think I genuinely am going to make a deposit on this because I don't. I'm not required to pay until in in literally a year's time, if not more than a year. Yeah, it's not even July, so it wouldn't ship until September earliest. Hey, man. I Good can, job, Prime Studio. I can do something in a year to make some more money. Yeah. What other Jurassic Park 3 scenes or things like this would you want to see in statue form? Something in the Female lab. Raptor. Something oh, in the yes, lab. dude, the oh. lab. Wow. Like, dude, what would, how cool would it be if you had, like, Tierra Leone's character on one side with the embryo and the thing yes. and then the Velociraptor on the other? The full-size raptor. And you could, like... You know, you could obviously see it from one end, but you know the way that you put you put display it, it, it just looks like it's. Duh. Oh man! 
man. Fuck. I would want that. I want that badly now. Yeah, yeah I want something sure. in the lab. Maybe even the sequence, you know, when they're behind the gate, uh, behind the fence door. Oh, and like the pen and stuff the... in the pen area? That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? I last watched... I watched the entire movie, actually. Give me the entire movie in the statue <laughs> I'll form. I'll take the entire movie <laughs> in statue <laughs> form. Do you know what actually would be really cool is um, the the fight, the battle, that whole bit of jungle oh, of course, that they duh. created. Um, at little Alan Grant hidden between the logs as well. you got, you got to go really close to see it. That battle would be great. Um pteranodons stylistically it'd be cool to see if somebody could come up with a way of billy like paragliding with pterodactyls around him yeah you'd have to have so you'd have the cliff face would be one side of the statue and then oh that'd be cool i guess you could have the the dinosaur para paraglider is it sail yeah parasail parasail Parasail. Parasail. parasail that would be like touching the touching the cliff edge so it kind of was as yeah, yeah. Was I guess that's the way you do it. But yeah, that with some pteranodons. I would love to see how somebody could do that and make it look, you know, the, authentic. But like, yeah, obviously you'd have to have it all connect to, the, yeah, and, and be stable and stable, stable. <laughs> oh, the river attack, so you, the, the river well, sequence. Oh yeah, dude. so many iconic scenes in this damn movie <laughs> that would look so good as a statue. I think that's the thing. It's the it's the cinematography of JB three. Those those dark sequences. I'd love to see. Um, yeah, mainly in the lab. And maybe I'd love to see a model of Nash and Cooper in the desert firing at the plane. You know, nothing to do with the islands, just them, <laughs> them stretched out <laughs> firing that gun. You desky. You, you desky coming out the plane <laughs> behind. <laughs> oh, Grant being surrounded by the raptors would be cool. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, man, put the entire movie in, in statue format, I'll buy it. <laughs> just being Christ. circled. I'm going to be so poor. Um, <laughs> actually, the Raptors. Yeah, no, that's a really good shout. They would be great there. Um, the airplane with Alan. A- Alan scene. Give me that. Well, you know that when they're handing over the eggs. <laughs> He's just well. sit- just Alan sitting in the plane, and then there's a Raptor sitting <laughs> the next raptor, to him. It looks so stupid. I want it <laughs> the dream sequence. <laughs> just his hands are perfectly placed over the the seat, and he's just Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the title card in statue form too. I take I take that. Do you know what I would? I take the logo. Just give me the logo. Just make the logo in a massive twenty inch plaque, and I'll just stick that up. I love. Give me the end credits too when it says Joe Johnson. I'll take that in statue form too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's so many scenes in that I'd want to see. And do you know what would be ultimate? I'd never have the money for this, but if if they did Lost World and you could get the uh, the trailers, the entire movie. The, oh man, the entire movie, but the trailers and the high high <laughs> as well. How, how have the trailers not been? Funny. That you that's got do, that's gonna happen dude you, it's you gonna could happen. do the trailers but when eddie's car comes through and is towing them and you've got the two rexes beside eddie's car that's the model Ooh, exactly man. holy fuck that would be dude, so much money that would look so epic and if you could perfectly place it like it like fits over the edge of a display like a yeah, shelf you have the hat comes with a hanging piece <laughs> exactly it's perfectly <laughs> weighted oh man I that maybe save your money for that, man, because that would be. I wonder. What? I wonder if anybody is really going to do Lost World. It's only. I think it's only Chronicle that have ever done Lost World products, um, from the companies that do. You know, have the Jurassic license currently. It's because they know, man. They know no one actually likes the Lost World. People are finally coming around to the fact that JP three is a superior sequel, man. Like, if you go back years and see the character development of so many people. JP3 keeps rising, man. Soon it's going to be better than Jurassic Park. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I think um, people are getting on board with JP3. I think it's been That's long true. enough that it's it's like a nostalgic look back. And you, Yeah, it has flaws, man. We're not saying that. It has some problems. Sorry, I see it does. But uh, it's, well, okay. it's, it's a great movie. It's got these awesome <laughs> I didn't know you were sequences. a movie critic. Jeez. <laughs> I pretend to yeah. be on Twitter. I just, I'm not. I mean, um, <laughs> dude, Star Wars prequels, same thing. People hated them. People are coming around on them. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, it's perfect. Personally, not my bag, but the, I liked them when I was a kid. That's all I can say. You know, the one thing I'll always criticize is the length. It's too short. Cause yeah, it's still yeah. compared to the other compared. films and even the new films. It's like, it's 90 minutes. Doesn't have yeah, it's in and out though. It's a quick dose of Jurassic, and you're done for the day. Yeah, but it doesn't have uh, an ending, re- a real ending. Mm-mm. It does the end credits, man. 
Yeah. Really happened. <laughs> yeah. That really happened. You just that sit through the, the end ending. credits like, this is awesome. <laughs> this is an ending, boys. Yeah, and, before we had end credit scenes. Um, yeah. It, no, it I think honestly that's could have been problem. another half hour. It, yeah, it needed to be. And I think it was supposed to be. I mean, talking to Shelley, he talked about they were very close to filming the uh, Pteranodons attacking the helicopters at the end. That was what was supposed to happen. It was that whole sequence. Um, as they're flying away, the helicopters then get attacked by Pteranodons, and then the Pteranodons continue on their way. Um, what, and everybody dies? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it? Like, oh, sorry, Grant. <laughs> sorry, Stop family. Factor, baby. Yeah. You thought you were done, but... But they just kind of wrap it up, and then they're like, shit, getting on the helicopters, get out of here, where are you going? Doesn't matter, let's just go. Um, it just, <laughs> it's very rushed, yeah. It didn't have that big, and like, climatic ending. And there was also, you know what, I asked him in this, there was also rumors um because before i interviewed shelly in april i put up on outpost you know any questions you have about jurassic park 3 just post them here and i'll do my best i asked a bunch of like twitter asked questions somebody asked did was there a sequence where raptors attack the spinosaurus and i asked shelly and he was like no no no, i don't remember no hmm. actually i do maybe maybe i did read something like that um, I think there was maybe a sequence at one point in time, maybe it had been storyboarded or something, where raptors and the spino uh, collide. And that could have been, if the spino mm. was chasing them for pretty much the entire movie, or at least following their trail, right at the end when they hand over the eggs to the raptors, then the spino's back. What's up? What's up? I'm back. And the raptors, Again. but the raptors fight it. And then there's this whole sequence. Um, that could have helped. I like, really pad that ending out. And then yeah, it's too much like Jurassic Park original ending. Maybe that's why they cut it. Maybe they just thought it's just. But then oh, it's the a three way fight. It's raptors, spino, and then pterodactyls come flying in just to pick a fight. And yeah. then it's just too much chaos and distraction while the, everyone escapes. Yeah. I think as well, probably, you know, by then they were just wanted to just. Let's just go. I just want to go. Like, home. This movie's a mess. Like, let's just finish this thing off. Hey, yeah, we'll finish it in post. <laughs> um, yeah. Good movie. Well, that would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, so, the, one of the earlier ideas was it was the first idea was Spielberg's idea of having Alan Grant living on one of the islands, sp- probably sauna. Uh, he'd snuck in after not being allowed in to research the dinosaurs and was living in a tree like Robinson Crusoe. But I couldn't imagine this guy wanting to get back on any island that had dinosaurs on it after the first movie. That's Joe Johnson who chucked out or said no to Spielberg's initial story. Um, but Dr. Grant living in a tree on the hmm. island studying the dinosaurs. That wow. sounds goofy. That can happen just, after JP3, maybe. He was so critical, not only like in the movies, but in the in the books, uh, you know, kind of like, not critical. I wasn't, I mean, he wasn't as critical as some, but like, you know, he was, he was definitely like throwing up flags to begin with. And the Grant that we saw in Jurassic Park 3 was definitely the Grant that I expected him to be like a little tainted bit now bitter. yeah a little bit bitter and like those aren't dinosaurs like i refuse to believe that they're you know what john hammond and ingen <laughs> did at jurassic park was create genetically engineered monsters nothing more nothing less like that is <laughs> it's a perfect summary of, of grant that was grant i feel like that's, that's a cool his... scene but as soon as he gets back, as soon as he gets onto the island, when they, well, when they're flying over sauna and he's seeing the dinosaurs, he's getting all excited. I love that. And that's that Grant, moment. yeah. It's like, but it's like, oh, but... <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, and that's all of us, like, oh, but dinosaurs. Like, it brings in that feeling of... For sure, and especially, you know, in his position. But, yeah, Jurassic Park would have rocked his world. It would have changed things. He would have got back and... I mean, he, he escaped death. And then... Had, this, is, this is why when people don't like the fact that him and ellie weren't together i understand that but i don't that's like why because there after what beforehand. happened ellie said she ellie's not been like i mean the event would have screwed them up man and then going back to like paleontology after they've been nearly killed by dinosaurs and saw people get killed by dinosaurs it just it just changed their whole world i kind of believe that they went down different paths and maybe grant were just going so deep into studying velociraptors because of what he saw but ellie wanted to forget because of what happened to her in the bunker you know and it just creates this tension and they're not together for the for the 
no other reason than it makes sense to not be. Hmm. Uh, I think it. Yeah, I think that makes. I think the way you explained it makes total sense. I never got that sense though from the ending of Jurassic Park. I got like the opposite. I thought if anything, it brought them closer together, especially because Grant's now all of a kids. sudden got a fondness for kids. And like the way that yeah. they look each other in the helicopters, like you want to d- make some of these, <laughs> <laughs> you want to have some of these. <laughs> so I know I get me. that. I think it's just after that when reality hits again and they realize what it is they've been through. You know, I just, the way that she says, like I try not to. You can tell that she's yeah, she's, she's got heavily... trauma there from those raptors, man. Um, yeah. And that's why, as well, when people say they don't understand why Jeff Goldblum plays a different character in Lost World, I'm like, because of what happened to him, he nearly died. <laughs> like, he's not going to be this upbeat, like, happy guy anymore that's, like, laughing at all the things that could go wrong. He's going to be honest about it. And uh, I, that's, I loved his character in Lost World because it made sense. And but does it ever make you wonder, so. like, how much he and, e- e- he and... Excuse me. How much he and Ellie knew about Site B... Because all he had to do was call her and say, The river! Sight B! Sight Boom. B. Like, she's, you know, it's not like she hung up and was like, What? Like, there was, ob- <laughs> there was like, Who obviously. Was that? <laughs> yeah, like, there was obviously some <laughs> obvious connection to her, you know? So it's like, I, I always wondered how much did Grant actually. Because tree, Gr- Grant in a tree, I don't think is too far fetched. I think he'd want to do that if. If like, obviously he didn't experience what he experienced. If dinosaurs were, I think just I think that experience just alt. I mean, not altered, but like, it's yeah, not it well thought his... out with the character of Grant. It, it yeah, it wouldn't make sense for him to be there. But you can understand somebody going to those islands and living in a tree to study them. For I sure. Mean, look at how yeah, look at how Sarah Harding Billy. jumped to sauna just just so she could be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that was yeah, that was pretty much Sarah. There's a naive naivety naivety, um, nativity, 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 because you haven't because you haven't experienced it, you know, and that's like what Jeff and everybody is saying, like, oh, oh well, well, well yeah. guess what? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. Been here <laughs> so, before, bros, you know. It's gonna be interesting to see how they all come back because, like in in Jurassic World three, uh, this will be the first time that we've had all three, especially together since the first, yeah. but you know, like since Jurassic Park. Wait, Jurassic World three. It'll be the first time since you know Jurassic Park three, because Goldblum was only ever mentioned in his book. Um, well, I guess no. This is the first time everybody's together since the first. Yeah, it would be. For some reason, okay. So yeah, it'll just be Ellie and Grant that will be. It'll be curious to see where their relationship is at now. Yeah, because so be many people are like, I wish they're together. I hope they're together. Yeah, no, and, they're going to be together for sure. And like Absolutely. I get why it was placed in dress, you know. It, it, there's different character developments that I think could have happened, and not saying any is better than the other. But that was, I think, a, a solid choice to take in terms of like where they're at and like character development. So it was um, a bold move, and I liked it. Yeah, it, it's mm. sad, but that's not a bad thing, you know. Yeah, I want them to be together, but I understand why they can't be. Yeah, and Grant's still good with kids, you know, like the way he is with Charlie, and so it's like. There's like I don't know for me like there was always this like well like there's still like the, the fact that they're still so close and like the, he can have dinner and that her husband's not like jealous about that because yeah he's like you guys it, catch up you guys catch you guys up. get like I'm gonna just leave the room like <laughs> oh, yeah <okay. laughs> <laughs> um, totally. so it's like you know obviously the relationship is good but it's gonna be really curious to see how it's developed even further 19 years later I just that I was really only... I really hope they don't just put them together and that's that it's like that'd be annoying. Um, what if everybody just hates each other just oh god okay you know so there was another draft after this one though there was so craig rosenberg wrote one where teenagers become marooned on isla sauna um and i'm pretty sure that was like there was two was it two planes that were heading to the island on like a school trip or mm-hmm. some rich family trip and the kids are on one plane and the adults were on another and the kids plane crashed on the island um but joe johnson said it, it, it read like an episode of friends Whoa. Good call on nixing that idea. Yeah. It was rejected. <laughs> it was a badly written <laughs> script. Uh, yeah. And then we had the one by Peter Bookman, 
and then Alexander Payne like jumped on and like did some revisions. Yeah. Like, well, this was the crazy. one that was chucked out. So it was the Tyrannodons escaped to Costa Rica mainland. That was like the intro, I believe. Uh, mysterious killings and I think it was like a dual uh, investigation like there was an investigation on the mainland and there was an investigation on Sauna to try and figure out what the hell was going on um, that would have been cool that would have been cool man that's the one they chucked supposedly uh, but it had the similar characters you know uh, Eric was called Miles Paul Roby instead of Kirby Kirby is a, a significantly better name <laughs> um, but Cooper was in that one apparently according to this Dude, do you remember hearing the one like rumor way back in the day about there being like a killer on like on the island with the group or some shit? I do not remember that. Well, like I think I vaguely remember reading that on Dan's JP three page many years ago. I think it was a, a rumor like a human murder, to die. like a human murder within the group. I think or on the island with them. That is beastie. That's uh. That's bizarre. That's the wrong place to be killing people. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But, I mean, there was a lot of that script that did end up making it into the dress part three, we know. The lab sequence was, was there, so they had the lab. The birdcage sequence is there, so they had that. Which is half the reason I think those sequences are so well put together and they're so mm-hmm. tight. is because they were already storyboarded and they, can just, they could just adapt yeah. to the newer script. Um, interesting. Yeah, there's nothing on Wikipedia about Jeff Goldblum returning. Um, so that could have just been some random rumor, but I definitely heard that from somewhere else too. It would have been really weird. I just can't... I just can't picture him coming back after The Lost World. At all. Mainland investigation, maybe. If they were still doing that idea. Yeah, maybe after Lost World, he wants them... If there's anything involved, he's like, I gotta get myself in front of this to stop it, maybe. Um, but, I don't know. It's cool. Without... I think it would have been a bit weird if you had the Kirbys, Ian Malcolm, and Alan Grant on the island. <laughs> yeah, it would have been... I mean... If, the movie we got is bizarre enough as it is. Yeah. Yeah. Alexander Payne wrote a lot of that, which um, Shelley said, you know, it's, uh, it's still like, he did a lot with the family. He created the family, made made them a family, like from Paul Roby and his like girlfriend. They turned them into the Kirbys. Um, Jim Taylor did rights on that script. <sighs> so many people did. I think Sam Neill wrote some stuff too during the, uh, while well, they were filming, right? Was yeah. there a report during filming? Like he was him and like William H Macy were writing scenes like for the next day or some stuff. I think yeah, everybody had their hand at it. <laughs> I can't imagine <laughs> what, what that was like. Yeah, wow. um, and they obviously had like specific requirements to work around. Like you can't be like, okay, well we don't need the Spinosaurus. They had the Spinosaurus on a jungle set. A team of animatronic operators like they have to incorporate that. You know, same with the birdcage sequence. It has to be in there. So writing to such strict requirements because it's so late in the game. Yeah, that must have been hard. Must have been real hard. Must have been a lot of just like they're walking through a jungle and then cut to this action scene and then they're walking through a jungle, cut through this other action scene. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Quite... Yeah, we know. I mean, all about the the script messiness that happened and the rushed production, which is arguably why it is the way that it is. Like, it, it would have been nice to see some time and effort put into that and seen like how that would have developed out but yeah it should have been delayed when they when they chucked the script they should have delayed it but i still wish i wish they had made that original script it was written by a new author it was you know it, because i think it was joe johnson must it must have been tough it, either it wasn't good or he was so concerned about living up to the hype of the first two and spielberg that he ended up going down the route of david kep's story idea which was like a rescue mission um, and I think that's the major problem with Jurassic Park 3 is that it doesn't push the franchise in a new direction or invent it doesn't it doesn't create anything it is a story that happens on the island but it doesn't extend what InGen have done it doesn't make the world aware it doesn't really affect anyone other than the people involved if that makes sense you know right I think that's the only issue with it it doesn't push the franchise in a direction uh, I can argue it kind of does, like with the uh, the scene at the start of the movie with like people like exploiting the dinosaurs, like the the uh, the, the sale tour, and then like the uh, paleontology presentation scene. Like people are just there to look, you know, ask questions about the dinosaurs. It's like kind of a myth now, you know. Yeah, it's this myth where yeah, people are curious. 
Like no, That's no true. one's there for like Alan Grant, right? Like everyone who raises their hand for Jurassic Park or like San Diego incident related questions, they they don't care about Grant stuff. Like so the world does the world isn't a different place than where it was in the other two movies. That's for sure. True. It's aware. Yeah. It's aware of like the islands, especially after the 97 incident. Yeah. Exactly. In San Diego. It's hard to keep that kind of thing quiet. People's like houses getting destroyed. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's the T-Rex. How do you you cover up a T-Rex? People, people died. Yeah. People died. People saw it, Mm. but this was pre cell phone. So, but then, yeah, like, one of those... Who, wasn't there, like, a canon thing? Like, shit, I'm trying to think back. Like, wasn't there, like, a video or, or like, a clip of, like, the T-Rex in San Diego from a different angle that came out? Yeah, Manuel, uh, the animator, made that. It was, it was like a, a... It was like a video of the T-Rex walking through San Diego Street. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I, I want to see some of that type of stuff in, like, Jurassic World 3 or whatever. Well, you're going to think, there would have been CCTV cameras in that city, and it was walking through the... It walked yeah, right through exactly. the petrol station you know the gas station so yeah people are aware there would have been things leaked there would have been footage and you're right in the sequence where grant's doing his talk his lecture people are they're there to ask about jurassic park and ask about those islands they want to know so yeah the dinosaur tours people going there would have been other people on that island that could have been cool maybe i mean maybe if while they're on the island they also discovered that there was other people on the island too I like mean, in, yeah, like in Lost World, stories. when when Roland's like, we aren't alone on this island. You know, the discovery is like, that's actually pretty chilling, because they're supposed to be the only humans there. Maybe that's and where that the murder be... mystery plot came in. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Damn, dudes. I'm sorry, but I'm like currently watching that teaser trailer, the official trailer for it. Yeah. And it is so so good I forgot about the Hell narration yeah. behind it like th- whoever the voice guy is at the time because it's not the typical it's not your typical deep voice Hollywood movie guy but whoever does that like where, like when like when he says like when man is tempered with nature and stuff I got chills it's oh so God, good I remember this I remember this so bad I remember all these shows on a, TV and stuff as a kid it got me so amped proposition I'd like to discuss with you Ah, and then the music too. In this forbidden place, where man has tempered with nature. (laughs) The trailer voice, I love it. It could almost be paradise. And they have the original JP. The boom, ah, boom, (laughs) ah. (laughs) That original, you know, soundtrack with that just that little. And it's so... But in this forbidden place. The soundtrack, too. Like, the sound... Is that in the... uh... Oh, yeah. It's not just a walk in the park. Such a good trailer, you guys. Yeah, I'm into this trailer, man. I'd forgotten. There's some really nice JP3 teasers. Do you remember the one on the DVD for Lost World? Mm -hmm. That really shitty one? The one where it just goes through the jungle. They can talk to each other. To a degree we never imagined. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. <laughs> yes. But the original teaser, man, like when they first threw out the DVD, with them, like, it's like such garbage. It's like a camera walking through the forest or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's a shot of the island, but I'm pretty sure it's from... Um, I'm pretty sure it's from The Lost oh, World. Yeah, right. It's like the shot... I need to find that one. Dress that one was pretty bad, though. Three teaser. Yeah, but it was cool when you were eight years old on DVD. Oh, when you're a kid, you're like, what's a new one coming out? Oh, That was at the time, like, your only way of finding out if something official was going to come. You know, like, we didn't have, like, Joe Blow or anything at the time to kind of leak us information. <laughs> and it was yeah. just like, all of a sudden I saw that and I was like, oh, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it. Jurassic Park 3, it's happening. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't even imagine that. I mean, that's, like, if we just found out, like, one day, like, Jurassic World 3 is happening and we had, like, no build-up for it, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just dropped it like that Cloverfield movie dropped on Netflix. Just all of a sudden, oh yeah, I do. Cloverfield Paradox. Although that that kind of sucked. It, it was a cool idea, though. Cool concept, but like, oh, it's out now. You can go watch it. Like, oh, okay, cool. I, like, I will go sit down and watch it. <laughs> yeah. Especially with Jurassic World three, just release whatever they have now. I'll watch it. 
What about uh, well, that's another podcast, but Camp Cretaceous could be uh, you know could be some Jurassic Park three elements in there. There's all kinds of things that they could throw in there. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't I'm not expecting too much from this. I expect like a legit kid show. Like I saw what Fast and Furious was. I saw like, a couple episodes. It's pretty much like just kids. Mm. I have no hopes for this one. I hope it's good. No, I'm but sure it'll be I good need for to kids see and stuff. Anything I'm not from watch it, it before we can make that judgment. We, I, we like, those those character designs didn't didn't land, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe when you see them in context of like the jungle or the di- next to the dinosaurs, it might work. Yeah, the way the blue moved like, in that teaser was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, the animation was fine, but like the thing with me in Jurassic Park is I don't like the dinosaurs are cool, but that's not what like keeps me in the franchise. It's the characters, right? Yes, hundred percent. The yeah. story for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. Dinosaurs just added extra bonus cool shit. Yeah, I think now a lot of it is like they're selling dinosaurs to kids, and it's like, yeah, okay, but like, you know, yeah. that isn't why I watch the original movies. You get the old because it's men damn good like story, it's great characters, great sets. <laughs> yeah, man, that's why they're bringing back the OG three. OG three, um, it's a great time to mention after this Jurassic Park three podcast that you can go to dot com forward slash store and buy a Kirby mug. Because Kirby Paul Kirby Hall. is literally the only character that matters. I need one of Dude, I'm telling you, franchise. he's the best character in JP3. He is. He's a hero. He's a father and a hero. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you guys remember a lot of these lines. It makes me so happy. It warms my heart. You can't, you can't leave, leave me like, like this. this. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. It's so dramatic. Like, I Paul! Love you. No! You can't leave me like that! <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Like <laughs> It's that music, it's that crescendo, the build-up when they see each other through the fence. Mom! They're like mm. running. <laughs> oh my god. I and love then the spiders that. before him. That and was then the perfect. spiders behind them. From your, from your phone, I heard the jingle from your store, I heard it. My phone? That- I don't. My phone. I, I, I don't, don't have it. it. I gave it to I Nash. Nash. I, gave, I gave it to Nash. He must have had it when he, he... must have had it when. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh so good. Ever. I actually encourage you to go and watch Jurassic Park three. Jurassic Park three is good. I think that scene actually would have been a good statue too. I always thought the way the Spinosaurus is just staring at them menacingly, like the way so he's creepy. posed. He's got like his long arms, just kind of like I'm about to f- you up. Like yeah. he's got like this look in his eye. It's a great reaction gift to stuff. Now, mm-hmm. oh for sure. <laughs> Somebody tweets something, you just post that. Like, <sighs> bitch, I'm coming. <laughs> Jurassic Park three, greatest great movie, movie of all time, uh, just for today. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've enjoyed talking about it with you guys. Ryan, thank you for coming back onto the podcast and a season. Yeah, back in retirement. Me. It's, it's fun. Me. It's good. Uh, it's good to have you back, and uh, I'm sure we will talk. About Jurassic Park three again. Oh, hands down. Hands down. So Prime One Studios are number one fans. Uh, telling you, man, JP three whole movies a statue. Do it for me. I buy it. <laughs> the whole movies a statue. I take it, man. I would. Take, I like, love that it. fucking joke. I put down some payment so plans on that. That would oh, be kind of cool, absolutely. like a like a circ, like what, like a statue that's in a circle and it just has like scene after scene after scene after oh. scene after scene. Yeah, and you can like just have every a- single frame is a, a statue. Oh, you could just, but no, I agree. It's like single frame. It just the, it just wraps around a room, and as you go around, it's just every sequence from Jurassic Park three. That would you be have your, yeah, dude. You have your bed in between in the middle of it, so you can just wake up and then just choose a scene. Do a full three sixty and watch the entire movie. Your mom comes in your room and you're standing on a step stool, staring at the wall, and she's like, <laughs> "You have been in here for three hours." You're like, "I am only halfway through." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It would be incredible. I, I want to buy it. I want to buy that Spinosaurus now. Fuck. Fuck. It does look Do good. it, dude. Do it. At least I don't have to drop the whole money now. I could just, you know, I don't know. What could I do? I could, by the time it gets there, if I have no money, I could just be like, yo, I, this must, I've been hacked. I never made this purchase, ever. <laughs> Give me my deposit back. There's no, there's no evidence. In fact, yeah, I need my deposit back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I'm going to do it, but I'll let you know if I do it. Because uh, that's, a, that's a commitment. I'm yep. going to message you every single day and make sure you do it now. Okay, I'm going to do it. 
Um, guys, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining me. Go, uh, to everybody listening, thank you for listening to the In General Podcast. Head to zavi.co.uk or .com and use Outpost 20 on any Jurassic Park item. You get 20%, which is a pretty good deal, I mean. And then pretty you can good. also use Outpost 10 site-wide, any item within reason. Outpost 10, you get 10%. <laughs> within reason. <laughs> within reason. Um, and head to the Jurassic Outpost store. Uh, thank you for listening. And um, guys, I'll speak to you next time. Yeah, it's been Bye-bye. Right.